ask Abigail to come and read to us um, from Luke 15. Our second reading today is from the book of Luke, chapter 15, verses 11 to 32, and it's about the lost son. Jesus continued, there was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant country, and there, there he squandered his wealth in wide living. After he had spent everything there, was a, there was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country. He sent him to his fields to feed pigs. He longed to feed his stomach with the pots that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, how many of my father's hired servants have food to spare? And here I am starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against you. I've sinned against heaven and against you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me one of your hired servants. So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick! Bring the best robe and put it on him. Bring a ring, put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and he's found. So they began to, ce to celebrate. Meanwhile, the elder son was in the fields. When he came near the house, he heard music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked him what was going on. Your brother has come, he replied, and your father has killed the fattened calf because he has him back safe and sound. The elder brother became very angry and refused to go in. So his father went out and pleaded with him, but he answered his father, look, all these years I've been slaving for you and never disobeyed your orders, yet you never gave me even a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. But when the son of yours, who has squandered your property, with prostitutes, comes home, you kill the fattened cow for him. My son, the father said, you are always with me, and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad, because this brother of yours was dead, and is alive again. He was lost and is found. This is the word of the Lord. So a few of us met together to um, <clears throat> discuss this story 
uh, that Jesus told. And we found that we had different ways of looking at it. Um, so we, we had quite a good discussion, actually. Um, and then thought, well, let's see if there's something that we can get hold of that would help us all to understand this better. Um, we found a... Um, I'll just find the information. Um, a sort of video in two parts by somebody called Tim Keller, who's an American pastor and a theologian from the Reformed Presbyterian Church of New York. Um, and we hope you will find it encouraging and uh, inspiring as well. So it's in two parts. We're going to have part one now. Um, and then in between, just to stretch our legs, we will stand to sing um, a short song uh, and then take part two. <laughs> 